I had a couple sick ideas for today's video and I couldn't decide on which one to do. So I'm just gonna cram it all into one video today for you guys. So today's video might be a little bit longer than normal, which is good, that's sick. So just sit back, relax and enjoy. Quickly, let's break down the four things that we're gonna talk about today. Skater XL is hosting a best trick competition at the new Primitive Park. Two clips and whoever has the best trick down the set will win the prizes from Primitive Skateboarding and Skater XL. There are two categories happening for this competition. There's modded and unmodded. So whether you're on PC or console, you can all enter the contest and have a chance of winning the top three prizes. So another new thing is that there's a new Skate 3 camera for Skater XL. If you want to make a Skate 3 edit in Skater XL, you can finally do that now. The third part of this video I'm making a new map in Skater XL which I'm pretty proud of this map is looking pretty damn good and I can't wait to see what comes of this in the future and the last thing in today's video that we're gonna go over is there's a new skate park for Skater XL called Fremantle and Falcon Skate Park and we're gonna play that today it's a really 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 good map the competition is on the big section and you can skate it you know however you want you can go up it go down it sideways you can get really creative with it and it's basically just this section right here. So the handrail, this thing, the staircase, this. I don't think this really counts. You can skate this however you want. So it's these three things right here. I'm assuming you could probably ollie from this and hit the rail, you know? So here is what Skater XL has posted onto their Instagram here. And they have a couple entries already. By the way, the deadline for this is not until October 1st. So you guys have, you know, over a week to submit your clips. So there's lots of time for you guys to submit your clips. They're looking for creativity, realism, Style and execution, difficulty in filming. What about like a kickflip, switch 5-0 down the rail there, or down the hubba? Not too bad. Oh, little sugar canes. Let's try something like this. What about like a hard flip, no slide, and 270 without popping? That's a little bit tough. I'm gonna ollie up this ledge like this and kind of scrape the nose manual down. I think I'm grinding though. You know, get creative with it. All right, let's try a kickflip back nose blunt. Oh, I think they overcorrect. That was actually super sick. Nice little pinch there. Baby, I think I want to film it like on this side for long lens because like look at the lighting. Got the god rays coming through. I got to see that pinch up and close like, hmm, beautiful. So let's film two different angles for this. And this is what I would do for the modded competition. So maybe, you know, make it look nice. It's kind of funny spawning the NPC next to the rail to see how the scaling is. Uh, he's standing up and he's still smaller than the fourth stair. Bobby boy, maybe start like this. Keyframe there. I might have to adjust a couple keyframes there, but I think that was a pretty cool looking clip. I think like right here, it goes out of frame. I'll have to reduce it down. That was kind of sick, dude. So I'm gonna fully press the trigger with my finger. That's how I filmed it, by the way. I don't know why I do that. And there, maybe one more version that's actually all slow motion like this. For the last angle here, the second angle, I'm gonna use Bob's angle. So I'm gonna whip up my fisheye. You know, it's not the best trick. I don't think this trick will ever win the competition, but that's a good example of what you wanna do for the competition. Just, you know, spend more time getting a better trick than I just did. Slow-mo, full speed, slow-mo. Full speed. So if you're reading the contest rules here, I'll just read it out for you guys. It says, get a trick in the middle section of the primitive skate park map, like shown in the video. We just did it. One trick, two angles max. We already did that. Don't add any titles or logos or music to your edit. Okay. I'll leave a link below to this post. Definitely make sure to follow the rules so you don't miss out, guys. I want to make sure that you guys enter properly and get your opportunity to win. Listen, do those things, and you could possibly win some free gear. The next thing we're going to talk about today is this new map I'm working on in Skater Excel, and I'll just discuss it really briefly because there's actually not much going on at this map yet you can download it try it test it yourself and give me some feedback what you guys think so i can work on it and expand it in the future because there's nothing really quite here yet it's a hybrid street slash skate park map even though there's no skate park in it yet there will be you're probably thinking like yo you just started making maps you're making bridges and buildings and stuff like this uh kind of kind of i bought an asset pack these buildings were pre-made for me which is awesome kind of built this map like a bunch of legos all I really did was have to texture everything and make splines work so you can grind stuff. And I, ma I made it basically a functional map in Skater XL. It's really funny because this map and these assets were made for first person shooter games. And if you look around the map, it's pretty funny. You'll probably find a couple hideouts that make the map seem like a PUBG or Call of Duty type game and stuff. When, when you go inside of the buildings like this, you have like the upper level, you have the, the office supplies. I had to go around the entire map and delete all the hiding spots because it really seemed like a first person shooter map. But that's what it is. That's all it really is. You know, it's pretty cool though. Like it came like this and I just made it into a Skater XL map. I need to change the scaling a little bit, but there's actually some pretty decent street spots here. Like, you know, I got the sidewalk to this ledge. 
go down the little hill bomb here. And I like how I use, like, you know, I changed the sky box and made it look like it's industrial. So the sky on the far side, it has kind of like an overcast vibe, you know, partially cloudy over there with like this storm kind of rolling in on this side and like the smog from the, you know, smoke stacks and stuff. That just makes sense. I want to make a park next to a bridge and this is the whole idea. So I kind of cleared out this area here and I have this plan to be a skate park, but honestly, I kind of like how it is right now because if you have the object dropper mod, you can make whatever you want. There's still a lot of work to be done on this map. It's very, very early. I made this map in about one day. I made this on Monday. So I'm actually kind of stoked I can do this now because that means since I have these assets, like these buildings, these bridges, that means I can make maps like no problem. I can make a city map like this within a day, easy. And it's pretty good, it runs pretty good. It looks pretty good, but you can skate over here too, you know? There are some decent spots that might be worth filming. Another cool thing is this map is a pretty decent racetrack too. It's a perfect circle or square. So you can just go in circles and race your friends if you would like. Go around the block here. Little kick flip, go down the big uh, hill bomb. Oh. This is kind of cool. I don't know. The, the vibes in this map are different. <laughs> it feels weird. But essentially, this is the map so far. I'm still working on it. Lots to go. Lots to be done here. It looks like a little bit like a PS2 map, a little bit like low resolution stuff. The textures aren't the best. Uh, the object at like the curbs are very sharp looking and stuff, but eh, I'm still learning. It's a lot of fun. If you guys want to grab this map, it's in my Discord. I'll leave a link to my Discord down below. Let's talk about the Skate 3 camera in Skater XL. We're back here again. This is the entire Skate 3 University District ported to Skater XL. The entire map, everything. It's in Guinea Tig's Discord. You can grab this map. You can grab Danny Way's Hawaiian Dream DLC map, which is also a Skate 3 map. All right, so let's film a quick line here and I'll show you guys how this camera looks. So we'll front side flip down, switch back side, kick flip, nose mini, then nollie heel into the bank. You know, quick little one, two, three, four, five, six. Skate three color. All right, so it gives you a filter for your color to make it have that skate three color look. 10 millimeter camera. So this is the, there we go, skate three fisheye. So it's not the best fisheye for Skater XL, but this is how Skate 3's fisheye looked. So it's meant to replicate how that look was. All right, so we got the fisheye, you have the color, and you also need to have the filters too. So on the main page here, we have the vignette, so the black borders, and we also have the left stick show, that button that should have always been hidden. So this is, this is it, this is the camera. We're on the Skate 3 map by Guinea Tig. We have the Skate 3 camera by Warden Jeans, and this is how you can make your game look like Skate 3. Not the best line, but just as a good example to show you guys what the camera looks like when you have all the settings applied, you know? The cool thing about this mod for Skater XL is you can actually skate like this. So if you want to keep the colors, the fisheye, the left stick show button on, you can actually just skate around like this. So that's pretty damn cool. All right, let's rainbow up. Oh, that's really hard to aim this. This is being a little bit tougher than I thought. All right, oh, yes. All right, what about this? Hit, finish it off with the big, uh. Oh, that's not blind. I never film in 60 by nine, so it's it was tough for me to film it nice. There you go. Front tail, kickflip. In the last part of today's video, we're gonna check out this free mantle and Falcon Skate Park for Skate Rick This is one of the newest maps on the modding website. I believe this is Falcon over here, I think. This is Falcon Skate Park and this is free mantle. All we're gonna be doing on this map is just skating around realistically and we'll check out the spots just like a normal video. And yeah, that was a decent not only ordeal, but I caught it funny. So in the bottom left corner there is my controller. You guys can see what I'm doing and stuff. Oh, nice little nolly flip. Hit the big section for a nolly front boards. Beautiful. Only 180 to the bank here for the manual. That was nice. Let's try this, try this A-frame here for just a solid hard flip back lip or something. Oh, man. I'll give you guys a little trick tip on how to do these. So they're, they're really fun and really steezy. There's a real good trick to do this, doing this kind of stuff. Oh, that was a solid one. All right, so what I do to do that, what I do do to do that, this is a normal hard flip front board, right? You would hard flip, it would spin 180 degrees, and then you would turn your body to a board slide. But what I'm saying here is you can actually flip it in a way that you don't have to have all the extra stuff, you know? You can do that. Oh my God. 
god! Look at that. Pop it in a way that the board only turns 90 degrees, and you turn 90 degrees, so when you catch it, you're perfectly in line with the trick you're trying to do. This is super tough, but I, I do this for a lot of tricks in this game. You can apply this to a lot of different tricks, like this, for example. Watch this. I'm trying to get an inward heel, no slide. Inward heel, no slide. And you see how it lands perfectly flush? So what you want to do is you want to go down with both sticks, wind up, let go of the front stick, and let go of the trigger at the last second. If you let go of the trigger before you pop, you see that? 90 degrees. Down, trigger, let go. Down, trigger, let go. If you add a flip to that, you know, a flip in the opposite direction of that, like an uh, inward heel flip. Baby. Down, right stick, hard flip. So like hard flip, back tail slide, fakie inward heel, no slide. Wait, what? The Bennett grind? That was so strange. Tray flip down to the bank here. I forgot to mention this early on in the video, but check this out. EA sent me a skate deck. So shouts out to Full Circle. 314 out of 500 decks made, limited edition. Skate is actually giving away these decks for a competition as well. So if you guys want to enter to win one of these decks, join their Discord, I believe. That's where their contest rules are posted. So you guys can win one of these yourselves. I told you guys, there's lots of news today. Lots of news. Lots of things happening. Lots of new maps. Lots of competitions happening. Skate news. Skater XL news. Skate in Skater XL news. I'm just waiting for session news. Fakey hard flip nose blunt. I've never even done this trick in the, in the game before, ever. This would be an ender trick, though. Oh, dude, that'd be such a crazy trick, IRL. Fakey hard flip nose blunt. Someone has got to do that. That's such a cool looking trick. If you're running out of tricks to try in Skater XL, like try these tricks. Like there's so many variations and they're, they're all like just crazy looking. Come on, man. Hard flip, fakey hard flip. Owie, fakey. Oh, the tail slide. Oh, that was so close. Let's do it. Let's do a backside though. We're gonna do a all the inward heel back lip. Jimmy was off the hook. Uh, bang, boom, bow, bow, bow. That was so sick. We'll pull jam first. Uh, nice. All right, come on, right here. Oh, that was sketchy. Dude, there's gotta be another one we can do. What about like inward heel nose blunt? Or like double inward heel? All right, inward heel nose blunt. That's a pretty sick one. You gotta be a complete sicko in real life to do that trick. All right, come on, right here. Let's go. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, over crook kind of, or I guess you call that a nose grab. What do you guys call that? Over crook or nose grab? Personally, I don't know. All right, inward heel, super focus. Ooh. Dude, I'll, I will take the nose grind any day on that. Bang, board right there, pop. Oh God, all right, boom, boom. Coming over like this for a little pow action. That right there, beautiful, that. And then that, all right, cool. Slow-mo for this one, boom, ah. Uh. Yes. We skated a little bit of this. This one's a little bit more simple vibes, but it's still a great park. The flow is amazing. Tray flip to the bank. A little 50. Simple, you know? A little front board. It was not a front board, sir. I have to do a switch with a heel flip. Switch. There we go. So like revert, switch Manny. Revert? Eh. Didn't work. What about this? We'll try this inward heel. Ooh, other way. Just like fakey front side flip over the corner. That was nice. A little blunt to fakey if I can. Beautiful. Let's go along this for a cab crooks. 180 out. Very nice. Switch big heel. Can't believe I just landed that. Molly tray, nice and slow. Let's go over nice over here for nice Molly North for Grayson Fletcher. That front crook around the home terror corner. Nice little nose blunt there, beautiful. Let's go for like a nolly heel back lip. That works. Let's go over here. Hard flip back lip. We got the cab lip slide. Hopefully, yeah. And then do we got this one? <laughs> Absolutely not. 
Alright. Tray flip, knack, kind of thing. Let's do a switch, though, down the other, other rail. Switch knack. Ow! <laughs> Yo! Alright, this is a lot tougher than the regular. Oh my god. Wow, 270 blunt. Hop a frontside air to the bank. There's the back lip. Nice feeble down all the way. Alright, what about this? Nolly heel. That was right. Woo! Very nice. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Lots of new stuff to check out in Skater XL. We had the free mantle in Vulcan Skate Park. We have the new Skate 3 Fisheye. I'm working on a new map as well, too. You can download that in the link down below. My stats, my settings, and camera settings for my gameplay is all in my Discord as well. So if you want to grab my new map, grab my stats and settings, ask questions to me personally, join my Discord down below. And the first thing we checked out today was the competition happening. So make sure to check up on the rules. And there's six top prizes to win. So you guys can win some free stuff. It's definitely worth checking out for sure you know two clips to potentially win some free stuff that is like a no-brainer to me for sure and you have a week to do it so easy if you guys made it this far in the video i'm sure you guys liked it so make sure to leave a like and subscribe on the video today if you guys did typically i stream on sundays tuesdays thursdays and maybe saturdays at 12 p.m eastern 9 a.m pacific so hope to catch you guys there other than that guys i hope you all have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next video or the next stream peace out